Oh, now look at this. How about that? After the day the Prime Minister's had, there are many wondering if they could do her job. But in Grimsby tonight, at least the competition was friendly. This is one of the only places the Conservatives made gains in the local elections, as Theresa May acknowledged a Brexit backlash. Now, because we haven't delivered the Brexit deal through Parliament yet, uh, this was going to be a particularly challenging uh, set of elections for both main parties. Um, and as the party that has been in government for nine years, it was, of course, always going to be particularly difficult for us. Wherever she went today, there was no escaping the results. Not even somewhere that didn't declare any. These were Welsh Conservatives angry at English losses. Why don't you resign? This heckler used to do PR for Boris Johnson. Perhaps he still does. And Trin Honda. That's almost Welsh for good afternoon. But today the Conservatives had one of their worst. For both main parties, it was hands up who'd had the biggest disaster. But the Conservatives lost the most seats, more than 1,300, giving away councils like Peterborough, Basildon and St Albans. Voters' frustration scrawled across ballot papers, a local vote, but in many ways, a national protest. <laughs> Labour should have had far more to cheer about, but after nine years in opposition, they too went backwards, losing more councils than they won. And having tried to please all voters, does Jeremy Corbyn accept he may have pleased none, perhaps hinting tonight at a deal with the government to finally get Brexit done? I think it means there's a huge impetus on every MP, and they've all got that message, whether they themselves are leave or remain, or the people across the country, that an arrangement has to be made, a deal has to be done, and Parliament has to resolve this issue. But there was an upside to Brexit for parties which oppose it. The Lib Dems making their biggest ever gains, taking councils like Bath and Chelmsford. I think it's a combination of things. People are very dissatisfied with the Conservative government. It's an absolute mess. The Labour Party sitting on the fence of the big issue of the day. But a lot of it is local campaigning, local government. We believe in local government. We do it well. In a series of awkward moments for the major parties, there were big gains for the pro-European Greens too, as well as independent candidates. We're seeing a kind of breakup of the political system and people looking around for new options, new choices. And we've got a very, very clear message, of course, on Brexit. And what hasn't been counted is support for new parties, which didn't stand in these elections. Whether pro or anti-Brexit, they will appear on ballot papers later this month. Well, frankly, I think this is likely to be the calm before the storm. For the major parties in particular, the European Parliament elections are likely to be a car crash, really. It seems now odds on that Nigel Farage's new Brexit party would probably top the poll. So while there are always the cheers and the tears, these elections aren't just a local upset, but a national one too. Paul Brand, News at 10.